Last of Vincent's Assembly on Il Clemmore Barthat. We're Rest of Vincent's Assembly. This should be the first part of a, a two dayer. Uh, first part here under the shadow of Nettlecombe Coop, uh, Toot rather, and tomorrow near Temple Coombe, that's right, <laughs> bit of a tongue twister. Right, uh, well after all the uh, frenzy of harvested and tractor driving and God knows where else whizzing around countryside, uh, we had monsoon like rain last night <laughs> which has definitely slowed things down. Uh, but it's also made the uh, parched ground quite wet, so it should be easy to find signals. So uh, I'm out with my trusted DS today, HF Coil. I'm not sure what program I'll use. Uh, maybe a tweaked version of uh, Hot, or maybe a tweaked version of Sniper, or maybe even Core. Who knows? Um, so with that, I'll set her out and uh, catch it the first hole. Right, a nice solid, well, apart from the iron grunt. Oh, there. 85, 86. Yep. Ooh, I see it. It's a penny. The, uh, Bald head fella, her. Uh... Oh, George. It is a George the Fit. Yeah. What, oh, yeah. Nineteen eighteen, I think. Yep. Oh. Oh. Don't think I had my camera turned on there. for the benefits of the camera. Oh, I'm going to recreate this. Oh. Ah. That was sharp. A ring pull to start with, but it's not, it's a uh, top of a spoon. <sighs> Copper plated, anyway. <sighs> Looks like it was silver plated at one time, there's still a remnant of it in there. Can't see any markings. I'll clean it up and check. Let's just run through my settings while I'm here. Uh, sub on, hot. Uh, I've put the sensitivity on 93. Uh, frequency is 28, as I say, that's my uh, coil spot, uh, sweet spot. Um, iron volume 3, reactivity 3. Order response for uh, discrimination, as it were, minus 6.4. Okay, hot says dig in the sod. Let's have a look. Oh, 
I just pulled my trousers up. Well, I'm a belt. I bet Batman never had any problems with his utility belt. My camera's playing up for some reason. Right, I will get in a little squeak on hot. Uh, so I switched to, well, I went through sniper, well, my version of sniper to car. And it's giving me a bit of a diagonal. It says there's iron there. But it's giving me a reading of 86. So, worth a dig. Oh, God. Except when I hit flints. Uh. Sorry about that. Ooh. I needed a water break. Right, back to the freight. What's that? Just pull you over. Oh, stop it. Uh, some kind of buckle. Hard one. Early one from looks of it. Let me see. Looks like it was silvered there. Or is it some kind of pattern? So it had a black bar and that bit was definitely silvered. Oh. Nice buckle. Right, put that in the box. Worth digging all that way. Oh, that's my squirty box. Look, that's my box. There. How deep would it as a matter of interest? Right, get to my pinpointer. Let's see a measure on that. Certainly depth of me uh, digger. So that would be nine, ten inch. Right, I've just done a full length of field. Just show you it field. Bit misty. It's a fine drizzle. Uh, so I've just done a full length of field. And I'm going to turn around and head back towards car, mainly because my battery's uh, getting low. Don't last long on this Hero 9 batteries. Anyway, um, if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber, it costs you don't. Uh, all it does is tell you when I publish new videos, really. Uh, but it does tell YouTube that people are watching. Oh, and the other thing you can do for me is please share it. Uh, if you like the video, give it a share. Try to increase my audience. Uh, I've just had 5,000 views on my videos, but I've only got 115 subscribers. So a lot of people are watching them, but not many people are subscribing. <laughs> Strange. So if you think on, please like it. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed and share it to your timeline to tell other people. Bye. Right. Hi, so I'm on uh, day two of my weekend dig. This time over near Temple Coombe, 
Uh, I got rained off yesterday at uh, Nettleton, Nettlecombe Toot or Tout. Uh, but I did find a decent medieval buckle. So today I'm looking for Templar silver. Who knows? Right, see you at the first hole. The faintest of bleeps on hot, well my modified hot, so I've uh, switched to core which has given a stronger indication but still nothing on the, no numbers, nothing on the XY scale, slight iron grunt. But it's definitely something there. So let's have a dig. Oh, it's there. It's in this clump. No, it isn't. No. Oh, dropped it. That clump. Oh no, I can see it. There, that's it. Oh, 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 glove off. Oh, there's no one to tell. I'm me. Right. It is. Oh, don't think you can see it. Nice silver hammy. Long cross. Let's give it a squirt. Oh. London Mint Long Cross. So who is it? No idea. Hmm. One of the Edwards. I'm just using a an app on my phone that records the uh, GPS location. It's accurate within eight meters at present. So it gives me the, the uh, full grid reference, uh, nearby postcodes. I, I don't need any of it, but it gives me the latitude, longitude, altitude. <laughs> so, right, so let's uh, share that to uh, notes, save to new notes, yep, I'm using an iPhone by the way, so in notes, let me uh, give that new record a name, and I'll call it uh, Temple Hammy one. Bit optimistic, but I might find some more. And I'll take a photo of it just to remind me which one it were. Take a photo of it, you right. There we go. So that photo's attached to the note with the uh, grid reference and all the other information that uh, I picked up earlier. 
so I can shove that into the uh, Port Atlantic Whiskey when I get home. Right, it's giving a squeaky 6570. Right, let's have a dig. 